How are we doing guys and welcome to another Blackwood Fitness Home Workout. Today we've got five sets of exercises. Now this is going to be a little bit different to the normal workouts that I do because after each set we're going to be adding in 10 more reps of a new exercise. So let me explain. For the first set we're going to be doing 10 squats followed by 45 seconds of active rest. In the second set you're going to be doing 10 squats followed by 10 lunges and then you're going to be doing your 45 seconds active rest and then the third set you're going to be doing three different exercises 10 of each followed by the 45 seconds active rest and we're going to be doing five of those so there's five exercises five sets let's get straight into it with the 45 seconds active rest right then 45 seconds on the timer so here we go so we're just going to get ourselves moving and get ourselves nice and warm now, as I said, this is all about building intensity. So it's gonna be harder as the video goes on, as the, as the workout goes on. So we're gonna be starting with 10 squats. Yeah, so we're kind of sticking to the classics. We're gonna be doing squats, lunges, press-ups to start with. Then we're gonna be doing some walkouts, and then we're gonna be doing some glute kickbacks. So doing a lot of work with the legs today, but that's fine. Yeah, so these active rest periods work as hard as you can. Yeah, I know I call them a rest, but I want you to just be keeping yourself moving. All right, so we're going into 10 squats. So here we go. We're down, up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So this is about pacing yourself. Yeah, if you do, can't go as fast as me, that's fine. And you can't go as deep as me into the squat, that's fine. You just do what you can, all right? Once you kind of understand the workout, learn the workout, watch it a few times before you actually do it. And then you don't really need to keep following the video. If you've got something that you can time with, your phone, a stopwatch, if you watch on your, on your wrist, whatever it is, just keep doing 45 seconds rest and then you do the next bit of exercise. So as I say, this next one we're doing 10 squats again, but then we're gonna be doing 10 lunges following that and then back into the active rest. All right, so 10 squats, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then into ten lunges, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all right, and then we're into our active rest again, all right, we're going to mix it up, we're gonna do some different exercises during this rest period. If you can't jump, then just be stepping, whatever it is. Just try and keep yourself moving as much as possible. Yeah. And we're just trying to keep ourselves burning some fat. So we wanna try and keep that heart rate up, which is why we don't stop during this period. If you want to get those results you've got to keep working as hard as you possibly can and then the next time you go and exercise you've got to work that little bit harder and keep doing that until you get your results all right back to 10 squats here we go one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 10 lunges, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And then we're down for 10 press ups. All right, or push ups, or whatever you want to call them. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, ten. All right, and then we're back into that rest again. So if you can do a full push up like that, you need to put your knees down, that's fine. Just try to make sure that you're letting your hips lower down as well. And you're keeping the knees on the ground, keeping that back as neutral as you can. You don't want to have a big arch in your back or a big curve in your back. You want it to be like a nice table, nice and flat, all right? Or neutral is a better, is a better way to describe it, yeah. So keeping the core tight, keeping everything nice and stable. All right, next time I'm gonna be adding in walkouts. All right, so here we go, 10 squats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten lunges, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, whoop, nine, ten. Ten press ups. We're down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, ten walkouts now. So, feet nice and stable on the ground, bringing the hands down, walking out as far as you can, and crawling back up again. So that's one. Two, three, make sure you come all the way up to a full standing position. Five, keep going, try not to stop. Six, seven, if you need to stop. You can take a little break and then get straight back into it again. All right. Nine, last one. And 10. And then we're straight back into that active rest. All right. You guys are doing great. Keep going. Don't quit. Yeah, slow down if you need to. Yeah, you don't have to work really, really, really hard all the time. You want to make sure that you're still staying injury free. Injury free means that we just push our body to where it feels most comfortable and where we can kind of get our results but not going so far beyond that we end up doing damage. You shouldn't feel pain at any stage through your training. Even the day after when people say, oh, I'm really painful, but doms, all this stuff not necessary to be that way yeah just push yourself where you need to be all right ten squats here we go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten lunges one two three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten press ups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 walkouts. We're down and we're all the way out and all the way back up again. One, two, three, four, five. 
six, seven, eight, nine, plus one, ten. And now we're coming down for the final exercise, which is the glute kickback. So we're down on hands and knees and we're bringing one leg up as high as you can and down. Up and down. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Alright, great stuff. That was the last exercise. Now we're just doing last little bit of active rest and then we're done. And then you're gonna keep repeating, right? You're gonna make sure you keep repeating this a couple more times. Yeah, if you wanna get your results, you have to work hard, right? There's no kind of in between, you know, easy workouts that aren't gonna be difficult and still get good results. It doesn't work that way. The harder you work, the better results you get. But listen to your body. Make sure that you're not getting yourself into pain. If it's a bit, you know, sore, the next day a little bit achy, that's okay. But if there's like massive pain, yeah, developing, and you've done too much, or you're doing something wrong with your form, and form is everything when it comes to working out, and it keeps you injury free. If you're not sure, if you don't know how to do these exercises and you just completely think, all right, I'm doing it all wrong, just get in touch, send me a message, give me a call, whatever it is, I'm here to help and I'll do my best to help you, all right? Subscribe if you haven't already, click on that little Blackwood Fitness logo, watch some of my other videos that have popped up and uh, yeah, enjoy your workouts, get outside, do this stuff outside if you can, it's much better for you, get that sun, get that vitamin D and get that fresh air and you'll feel great. All right, I'm Angus and I'll see you next time.